To get that R, that correlation coefficient, to show up on your calculator, you can either do it through the mode, but you may not have that option, or you can do it through the catalog. Let's go ahead and start with mode. I'm gonna click on the mode button, which is near the top row of keys. As I click on that mode button, it brings up all of these different options. Yours may have the option, as I scroll down, of stat diagnostics. If yours doesn't, no big deal. I'm gonna show you how to get there in the catalog. Now mine does, so under stat diagnostics, I notice that it's turned off. I wanna arrow over to on and then hit enter so those diagnostics are on. Now the R will show up for us. If yours didn't have this option, let's do it through the catalog. I'm gonna quit here by doing second followed by quit, and then I wanna to go to my catalog. Now on my calculator, it's located on the zero key. So I'm gonna hit second followed by zero, and it brings up all of the calculator's functions in alphabetical order. Now I could arrow down looking for diagnostics on, but it's gonna take me forever. Instead, let's skip to the Ds. To do that, I'm gonna hit my alpha button followed by X to the negative one to get to my D functions. Now let's arrow down and I'm looking for diagnostic on. Here it is. I'm gonna hit enter once so it's on my home screen and then enter again. Now let's run that linear regression. I'm gonna go into stats and then enter to edit those lists or view them. And I do have paired data, which is perfect. Now let's quit here. So I'm gonna go second followed by quit back into stat, this time let's do calc, and I'm gonna arrow down to that lin reg, that linear regression for, hit enter. Now I do want L1 and L2 as my X and Y list. I arrow down, I'm gonna skip past the frequency list and the store option until I hit calculate and then enter, and there's my R value. More about linear regressions here.